Hey, hey, and welcome to the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. And this is the place where you can develop your ninja skills with Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, and more. And this video is brought to us from Letchworth Garden City. Not literally, although I do live just a few miles away from here. But it's the site of the UK's first roundabout. And we have more roundabouts per mile of road than anywhere else in the world. I think France wins with the overall total, but we have more per mile. And one of the questions that came up on the channel was, how do you deal with roundabouts doing simple maps? So that's what we're going to be looking at in today's movie. So this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. You've got a series of connected roads, and then you've got a roundabout in there. Now, of course, if you're in the US with mainly the rectilinear grid system, this might have limited appeal to you, but the technique can be applied to other things, and you never know. You might be asked to draw a quick tourism map for somewhere in the UK or France, for example, as among the many other places that also have them. So I'm going to turn this layer off just to leave uh, this nice background here, which is made with uh, Astute Graphics Texturino, just in case you're wondering, and a simple gradient. But I just thought it'd be nicer this time than it would to just have a flat white document. So I'm going to add a new layer. So this method is a variation on the simplified maps drawing method that was shown earlier. In fact, there are three different ones that I use. This is the second of those. So just like before, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a stroke. Now, it doesn't matter what you create that with, but I'm going to create it here with the line tool. So I'm going to tap backslash on my keyboard and then drag a line out like so. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to determine the color that I would like to use for my road. So I'm going to use this sort of very light gray just here. And then I'm going to determine the width and I'm going to drop this down to about 40 points. I want it to about 50 overall. So the white part of that or the light gray part of that's going to be 40 points. Then I'm going to make sure that I have end caps turned on. Now in the previous method, we have end caps turned off there, but this one needs projecting end caps to be turned on. And now I'm going to add a new stroke. Now you can do that from the bottom of this panel. You can also use Alt Command Slash or Alt Control Slash on the PC, and that does the same thing. So now we've got two of those strokes, both at 40 points. I'm going to select the bottom one of those, change the color here. So I'll change this to very dark gray there. And now I'm going to dial this up to 50 points. So I'm just going to hold down shift and hit the up arrow while I'm focused on that input field and then hit return to apply it. And there you go. There is the stroke just like so. Now I'm going to turn that into a graphic style. So I'm going to get my selection tool and drag that into the graphic styles panel. And then when I release, I've got graphic style there. Now I could give that a name if I wanted to, but graphic style here will be just fine. I can now delete this one. And what I need to do now is go to my layers panel and then target the small bubble just there. Some people call this the meatball. Click that to target the layer. Then go to your graphic styles panel and then choose your graphic style like so. Now, if you also go to the appearance panel, that should tell you at the top there, layer graphic style. And that's it. It's applied to the entire layer now. And you should simply be able to draw like so. So if I draw a few different roads here leading to the middle, and then I'm going to tap L to get my ellipse tool and draw my roundabout. Let's have a nice perfectly circular one there. I'm holding down Alt and Shift to do that. Okay, and there you are. I've got this lovely roundabout just in the middle there, like so. The things you need to watch out for here, if I get the direct selection tool, is if you go to the vector, as with the previous technique, you can sometimes end up with small bumps projecting across. So the end cap, just so you're aware, that is half the width of your stroke. So this is a 40 point white stroke initially. That means there's a 20 point end cap on there. Sometimes you have to back away from the vector just a little bit 
because otherwise it can over project and if i just make that happen you can see what's uh, going on there especially if you're coming in at an angle because you might get a corner like so so you may need to adjust your drawing uh, to compensate for that so there you go that's it we are done for now you now know one of the other techniques for drawing simplified roads on maps so please don't forget to subscribe keep on watching reach out to me via twitter facebook etc all those details coming along in just a moment so until next time see ya